the idea behind Cinnamon Club is really, um, it takes uh, modern Indian cuisine to another level in the sense it takes traditional Indian cooking techniques and traditional Indian spicing and combines that with the very best local seasonal produce that money can buy. And in doing so, we managed to create layers of flavors and textures and create something that is um, truly evolving and in step with the times. I like to describe it as evolving modern Indian food. One of our philosophies um, is sort of that the only constant on our menus is change. So the dishes keep changing all the time. We rarely ever go back to the same dishes. Um, we cook with the seasons and therefore the menus change very often. One of the things I started recently was getting young people encouraged into thinking of um, cooking the spice and Asian cooking as a legitimate career option. And one of the things I say is that you don't have to be born of an Indian mother's womb to be cooking with spices. Anybody can cook Indian food. All you need is a little bit of this, or a reasonably good palate, and a very big heart. And you've got those three things. You can, anybody can cook, and you can cook, 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 cook damn well. The first dish we'll be doing today um, will be a pan-seared, spice-trusted uh, fillet of halibut which I'm going to serve with a Kashmiri fennel and ginger sauce. The fillet is not going to be cut into really small pieces and you know cooked to death in bowls of brown sauce. The skin kind of kept. It'll be uh, spice crusted very lightly so the spice is there to enhance uh, the flavor of the fish and not really overtake. Um, it's going to be seared and, and then roasted, a bit like a confit, very French in technique. Uh, the spicing being very Indian. And then uh, the sauce is going to be cooked separately and uh, the dish is going to come together with a bit of uh, lemon rice, um, which is again very southern Indian. So we, what we've got on the dish is a North Indian spice, um, a Scottish halibut, and a southern Indian um, uh, rice dish. All of that coming together to create something that's truly evolved. So for this dish, we will use grouse breasts. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people would use grouse um, whole, but it doesn't really um, work well. It's such a lean meat, the breast becomes tough in no time. It's really important to rest the meat, uh, rest the breast for as long as you cook it. So really, uh, cook it just pink and just sort of medium rare. Um, I'm going to um, marinate the, the grouse with some ginger and garlic, some uh, red chilies, a bit of cumin, roasted cumin and roasted cloves that have been pounded. Um, again, cloves and grouse is a brilliant combination uh, also for this time of the year. And I'm going to cook it in the tandoor um, where the juices will drip onto the coals and the smokiness uh, will sort of, you know, get absorbed into the grouse. And I'm going to combine this with uh, a hot sweet home style uh, pumpkin pickle. Now one of the things about game is, you know, um, in the old days when people would go out hunting, they would cook, uh, they would um, cook what they had, they wouldn't be able to use everything so they'd turn it into a pickle and that would prolong its shelf life. Here, the pumpkin is what turns into a pickle. It's a sweet, spicy, jammy, glossy uh, pumpkin chutney. And the clove-smoked grouse breast will come together on a plate. Um, and it's, you know, it's just going to be the best game dish ever. I'm going to take a traditional Indian dessert, the Shrikhand, and turn it into a cheesecake. So I'm going to um, use a bit of whipped cream into it um, to lighten the texture and also use a bit of mascarpone. Um, and I'm going to make a real um, sort of crumble uh, made out of almonds and ground almonds and flour and sugar and butter. And um, so the crumble will sit and then uh, quenal of the, you know, the Shrikhand cheesecake uh, flavored with cardamom. That, that'll go. And then I have some um, saffron poached pears, um, which is again saffron, and cardamom, and sugar, and, and the whole thing is poached. Um, great time of the year to be using pears again, they're in season. Um, and um, so you have a bit of Indian spice coming with a bit of European technique of uh, making a cheesecake, and, and the whole dish will come together as a modern Indian dessert. Mm -hmm. 